Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da. Habitu fillah, never compromise on your ibadah. This is a reminder for myself and my brothers and sisters in Islam. Listen to this hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yaqul rabbukum tabaraka wa ta'ala. Ya ibn Adam, tafarag li ibadati amla'u qalbaka ghani. وَأَمْلَى يَدَيْكَ رِزْقًا يَا إِبْنَ آدَمْ لَا تُبَاعِدْ مِنِّي فَأَمْلَأُ قَلْبَكْ فَقْرًا وَأَمْلَى يَدَيْكَ شَغْلًا أخرجه الحاكم وقال صحيح ووفقه إمام الذهبي وإمام الألباني رحمهم الله جميعا The Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said in this hadith of Qudsi your Lord Tabaraka wa Ta'ala says, O son of Adam, set aside time for my worship. I will fill your heart with richness and contentment and fill your hands with provision. O son of Adam, do not distance yourself from me or I will fill your heart with poverty and fill your hands with unnecessary work. And this was narrated in Hakim and those a'imma that I mentioned said it was sahih. Ahabat tifillah, immense benefits from this. To busy ourselves, to take out time from our busy schedules. And I know that you're busy, and I know that I'm busy. But take out the time. Al aqal you know, the very least you can do is, of course, the wajib. Pray five times a day. But on top of that, try to take some time to do some of the sunnah prayers, some of the extra forms of ibadah, extra fasting extra charity, extra deeds of good, so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will fill your heart with contentment. All of us are seeking contentment. Some of us through, our, through wealth. Some of us through, uh, for men, it's women. For, for the women, it's men or whatever. We all have things that we desire and things which we believe we find contentment from. But real contentment is found when you're obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because you and I both know that when we do sin, we feel sad. You feel depressed. You feel sorrow. That is if you have some iman in your heart left. You feel this. You feel crunchy. You feel that you, you, you can feel it. You know you were wrong and out of pocket. But the one who takes out their time to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, takes out time specifically to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they feel good because they feel that they've done, they've made an attempt to do the best. And the best is what? Is to come closer to your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala and fulfill the purpose of why you were created. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those whose heart is content with worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then who is made self-sufficient due to that contentment that we have with our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala and due to that effort that we made and sacrificing for his sake. Ameen ya rabbil alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam.